I sometimes wonder what it would have been like to be active and around when the digital computer was first invented and coming into the world, kind of in the middle of the 20th century. What a monumental engineering effort that was, and what a weird concept it would be to be an artist at that time. Now in hindsight, we can look back and we can see all of the unbelievable creative potential that came from that machine. But what would it have been like to have not known that? To be there at the beginning of this new device, to just wonder about its creative potential. That's basically exactly the way I'm looking at quantum computers. Quantum computers basically starting over and inventing a computer from scratch. And because we're doing it differently, we have a new set of creative potential, set of creative affordances. And so that's me looking forward when I look at quantum computers and say, what can we do with it as a creative person? I have this dream of developing what I call a quantum aesthetic. So over the past two years of trying to make art with quantum computers, there's a very open question of what does quantum art look like? There was no kind of precedence to pull from. So I decided that I wanted to start trying to make art with quantum computers, really as a way of learning the domain itself. This technology is still very much so in its infancy. And so for me, the question was, what can we do today and what can we do that's meaningful? Five years ago, there were no quantum systems to use. So we're actually at kind of a really rare point, a very specific point in time where we can make art like this. Maybe a year or two ago, one of the executives at IBM had the idea of opening up a community space in the middle of Manhattan. She wanted there to be some artwork. And so initially we were shopping around looking for things that were inspired by quantum or finding artists that kind of connected. But I was really trying to push for this idea of having truly genuine quantum art. And then ultimately, they let me uh, produce that piece. After kind of a year of different iterations and versions and prototyping, we're finally to the point where we can make the actual final installation that will go in this space. How has our project gone so far? Or is it all kind of getting started today? It's getting started today. So that's it. That's the actual piece. That's cool. Boy, it's that's huge. Our, that's our sheet. I say this is the first piece of fabricated quantum art that I've done, mostly because I don't actually know if anyone has done one before me. I think the big actual difference is the vast majority of people that are working in quantum art are using simulators, and I am not. The way I use an actual quantum system to make art is usually I will take some sort of quantum algorithm. In this case, I'm using the quantum teleportation protocol, and I'm going to run it on our real hardware. In this case, I used one of our Falcon R5 processors to generate a data set, and that data set can be used however I want it to be. So in this case, the actual algorithm is transpiled and rendered out as little metal blocks, and then the effects of the actual executions that come back from the real hardware are drawn out as little circles radiating out from the middle of the circuit itself. For this piece specifically, I was looking into the idea of ripples of water, this idea of kind of radiating out from the center, and the idea of the waves becoming less distinct over time. And there was a nice analogy there with how quantum computers decohere over time. And so that was kind of the initial inspiration that I tried to pick up on a little bit. This piece is unique in a lot of ways. The composition, although I had a guiding hand in it, was fundamentally determined by a quantum system by real quantum hardware. And that's absolutely makes this one of the first of its kind. Looking at this thing, it's, it's funny. I knew it would be big, and I knew it would be this really just showpiece coming through the door, but I just really, just in my head, I didn't know how it was gonna feel, like what its presence in the room was gonna be. It's been really quite the push to actually get here, but now that it's on the wall, I just couldn't be happier. It's definitely one of my proudest things I've ever done. I think this is the first time, to me, that it feels like we have a real legitimate art piece. Something that's big, something that is installed. And I really, really hope that this is the beginning of something bigger. In other words, I really, really hope that we're gonna see a quantum art scene.